Let's face it, people will run out of anything as long as it's there, which explains why we find ourselves near the highest point on Earth. As the third Everest trail race reaches its conclusion, with competitors taking on the sixth, and luckily for them, final stage. Not setting off at a blistering pace, and who could blame them? Against the stunning backdrop of the Himalayas, the elite ultra runners negotiating a course at altitudes all above 3,000 metres, from Tianbotch to Lukla. The race describes itself quite modestly, really, as one of the world's toughest high-altitude ultramarathons, and it doesn't disappoint. Hazards apart from falling from a great height and altitude sickness include negotiating the busy routes during rush hour. And it was Nepal's own Upendra Sinawa who took the overall title, finishing the 160-kilometre route in an overall time of 20 hours, 29 minutes and 46 seconds. Certainly glad to finish, but pretty relaxed for a man who's just won a tough high-altitude ultramarathon marathon, hardly even breaking a sweat. And a five and a half hour wait until somebody else shows up. That summer was Brazil's Fernanda Maciel, the fastest woman and second overall, in fact, in a time of 26 hours and 29 seconds.